TP when I'm on a panel with oh, Red. Oh, snap. This is my round. Yeah. So now I'm even more confused about the pick as oh, PVD's nice there. That's going to be your first blood. Trying to throw out the sun, Raging Potato baits him in. Managed to get the smoke screen, a couple of shots. Fada into the tower will die. Uh, oh, going for the kill in mid lane. Oh. Inkswell, bling strike. Stun goes out, and with the army, man. Fada setting up the rotation onto Ajit. They have to follow up the Malphys, but no uh, black holes. So they might be able to save him for Ajit now. Just too much burst damage coming out from this last rack. That was a very nice micro. And they're going to chase Ninja Boogie down, which has no real hope of escaping here either. Yeah, you know, I guess I was just thinking the... So the ensnare thing... Yeah. I was just like, in my head, I'm thinking about these poor life stealers raged up and... Oh. Uh, Raging Potato, man. He just keeps on baiting this out. Dude, Raging Potato is... Insane. Oh, really good song set up here. If they can actually get the heroes, they... Oh, oh he missed, missed it! it. <laughs> Yo, throw the arena! They get the spear! Uh, what? <laughs> You're setting yourself up to get Don't. banged on hard once I catch you in a mechanics fuck up. Okay. It's coming. They will be able to catch Soxa still with the ensnare. He just turns around, black holes them immediately. They don't have a silence out from Ninja Boogie. He went 2 0 2, plus he doesn't have the mana oh, of the burning the army, though. It just comes in, cleans up. Fada will be able to get one of these supports, but can't really fight the rest. Cute. But it's not actually damage as. Raging Potato. Okay, we're just gonna song. Oh, Set it up. it up. They've got the arena. Just go for the last track. Just try right, and burst him down as quick as possible. Instant hacks coming out from Peter. They will be able to lock these two heroes together, but there's just no follow up as uh, everybody gets chased away. Naga Siren couldn't go Naga into that. Blinks doesn't rotate over, and now he's gonna get epicenter dodge it. He's just gonna be chased down like this. That was a disastrous. So he will know. Knowledge will not save him from another death, but Moon, if they get this kill, which it looks like they should, unless the sleep comes in fast enough, but a Yule Scepter from what 33. What a setup there. And, and now one. they could just keep on going for the black hole. Now oh Rage of Potato doesn't have smoke screen up to stop this one. That's two massive core kills for Ninjas of Pajamas. I like the choice of the Frost Mage for the Helmet Dominator creep. They're gonna try and kill Moon with that epicenter, and he just takes out from the Sandstorm. Now Rage of Potato, he may die as well as he's been caught in that dust. He needs to be able to get vision for some sort of blink strike play to get away, but he's burrow struck up. 33 just makes two kills happen while KP went to shove out mid lane, but immediately gonna get caught by the old scepter. They have too many disables, and the Grim Stroke cannot save KP. It's so convoluted. All right, we're going to song, and then we're going to arena. Get the spear. Be sure to smoke screen the lion. Okay, good. They'll jump in with the ink swell. Manage to get those two heroes together and silence them both. They're still inside. Oh, what a black hole from the low ground there. That's going to be able to save his allies. They throw out the arena. Will be able to catch Socks up. And now the reinitiation from Fada. KP trying to walk his way back, but he's just so slowed down. Stunned up by the burrow strike. Fada's going to be able to catch the Grim Stroke with the Yules. The smoke screen stops the split Earth follow up, so they will be able to retreat. But the real team fight he adds is this Blink Strike Inkswell combination where they're going to try to do it once again. Throws out his ultimate to make sure he can't get disabled. Gets one small stun, but now the arena comes out and they manage to get the back line of Socks up, but KP being disabled. Now Ajit coming in, but oh, he gets by the hole, and they have no way to stop this either. That's going to be Ajit pretty much down to no HP by the time he gets away. They're going to mass buy back here, but a beautiful epicenter on top of Moon. It finishes him off. The Burning Army soldiers are out as the control heroes around this area. Maybe they could still win a fight, but another Burrow Strike. The Inkswell going off on Ajit. He's trying to get off the Song of Siren now. They thought with the buybacks, maybe they could defend this, but nip. Last pick, that's my story about. All right, and. Well, okay. Uh, I mean, Sven just free farms, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And they're both going to probably free farm, right? The way that I look at this game is NIP want to hit this, like, really sick mid game timing like they did with their other draft. Uh, but they don't have that Bat Rider that was able to just run around. It's this Puck, who I also think needs farm. S33, most likely just going to suicide here. Yeah, he knows he's dead. Soxa going to be caught in the side here. They throw out the ink swell. Will be able to catch up. But he also have the silence onto Soxa. That actually procs. No extra damage there. Soxa was able to kill in time. Fada managed with the coil to be able to save Soxa's life. Oh, Gets a good orb break. out. Now Peter's here to be able to give him a Fodic shield. More miss coil damage. Enough to be able to kill KP. Not be deaths in that situation as they're going to go on a PPD. 
And at the same time, Ninja Boogie's also going to be gone on, but he dies before he can complete his TP. Anjit does manage to get the kill onto Peter before he can go for the deny. Now they're going to turn 33. He thought he could fight, and maybe he can get a lot of damage out. He keeps on getting his back over to Ajit, but it's not enough. Ajit still does too much. Lulz, Veil of Discord, level 8. They cannot afford to get into a bad engagement against him. They're going to try with the Sven rotating over, getting into the back line. They're going to go for Zox up, but a coil comes out. Ajit is not going to be able to get the kill, but Ninja Boogie will collect it now. They manage to get the silence onto the puck. A big kill, but he managed to get rid of that silence, gets the gore about, and that's enough damage. But Ajit's going to jump back in to try and finish off this puck. He knows he does not have an ore for one more second. That's enough to get the kill. Can he jump away, though? Phantom Strike, one second time. Get over to the creeps. Can't get there. 33. Guys, we're not... We're not doing anything about this. But it doesn't get easier as time goes on. There's the coil laid out onto Ninja Boogie. And the supports, they're like, oh, we can't just give this up. But every single time, they get a little bit too close. Vada finds the initiation. The Ice Blast is coming in. They're going to be able to get the Soul Bind. Maki and these two heroes. KP came in, managed to get the double stun. He has the Inkswell on top of him as well. He's running away, though, and doesn't get the stun onto 33 or Ace. And Moon, well, he does have the Imprisonment on himself as well as a Blink Away. He could do something like that. Okay, well, Ninja Boogie out of position. KP's gonna make his jump. They're gonna go for Ace here. They just dropped the Sandy's Eclipse right away to burn through his mana, but he still did not take a whole lot of damage to his HP, and Mineski okay, just ran fine. out of steam. <laughs> NIP is just completely reset. Yeah. Do you give up the Rex? I think you do. I, mean, I feel like you have to fight, but it just doesn't feel good. Yeah, well. <laughs> if you give up this Rex, uh, I think that NIP is just gonna... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> NIP are relying oh, on the absolutely. fact that there's 20 seconds left on this puck, but you probably don't get a better opportunity Just ignore here. the Medusa immediately. The borrow time goes out as he wants to be able to get over to 33, but they burst him down already. The Stone Gaze has gone out, but Mineski, all they have to do is just kind of bide their time. They Soulbind latches in the two of them. Ajit just ne needs to make sure he doesn't die here, as there is going to be that second life in the Medusa. Oh, big crit, and now Sox has been found out too. His moon gets the Astral, but Fada's now here. Fada's going to be able to blow him up with the Dagon. Can the second life of Ace, can they actually bring him down? They do manage to get the Silence on him. The Inkswell stunning him up. He's out of mana, and he's dead. Soxa with the Telekinesis. Ajit was looking for that extra kill and might be able to fight it, but they have no stuns to stop his teleport away, but still. I'm not sure if he ever will, because he's always being jumped immediately. This time it's going to be the OD drum right next to the tier fours. He's silenced up right now, but eventually that will fade. He will be able to imprison himself. They manage oh, to get the soul mine onto the puck. They get the cleave onto both him as well as Sox and Ice Blast to be able to finish up the puck. But uh, they have to back up. KP's a little bit low. OD is still being saved. 33 tried to commit for that kill, but another self imprisonment. He will be able to cheese himself. Uh, Jit. Not able to commit for that kill, but now pops his BKB and thought about going for Ace, but immediately disengages himself, realizing he can't continue to go forward. They still want to fight because it's four on five right now. Yeah, now that the OD is healed up, they can definitely go forward. Now there is going to be the illusion stopping his Blink Dagger, but KP, He's even at low HP, it. is willing to jump forward. See if he can catch anybody he can. He's going to be imprisoned. Buying himself some time. Ace is playing on the high ground right now. Mineski do not want to play into that area right now. That is too much. So KP may be just left to die as he's going to be in prison once again. He does have he's Blink up. Blink. blink away? Nope. But there's Ajit, about this DD rune. his smoke is going to pop here. He gets a little bit close. His blur is now going to pop as well. He knows there's heroes around. KP is going to be being swelled up. Goes for the sun onto Ace. They're going to try and take him out. First things first. They have the Ice Blast as well as the Sandy's Eclipse. And it will he's be gone. enough. They manage to take him out. He has no buyback either. And OD is still alive. Fada couldn't actually finish him up. The Abyssal Blade into the vase. He does manage to get the Heaven's Halberd. And that's going to slow down the PA's damage. They've already won the fight. So 33 will die. Triple kill for Raging Potato. And he's not able to utilize any of them because he doesn't have BKB as... The Hex, the instant Hex. Oh, can he actually silence. kill him? Moon doesn't have Sandy's Eclipse. He's just going to rely on right-click damage. The Ice Blast is He's just gone. enough vision. But Soxa is going to come in, try and finish him off, and gets him with the Imprisonment. No, he actually stole Equilibrium, but kills him just right-clicking him to death. Does he go all the way up to the high ground? They know where the puck is. Somewhere in that tree line. Oh. Now they jump forward. They're actually going to go for the OD. The OD's been caught. He doesn't nearly have a save mechanism. He's stone case up as well. He now gets a double storm hammer into the back line, though. Goes Ajit. Managed to get socks up, but the double damage isn't quite enough to finish him off. Got no crits. KB will finally get that kill, but can they actually fight into Ace? Buybacks coming out from Nip all over the place. They want to be able to catch Ajit, and they do manage to get him. He's already used his BKB. He doesn't have a blink away. He is dead. He does have buyback while the OD. And now. Well, they're going to go for the Soul Bind. Double Storm Hammer. They do have the Ice Blast coming in. And uh, Peter's going to take a lot of damage. But I love how 33 just immediately rushes forward. 
and pushing back Maneski as best as possible. The Stone Gaze will eventually wear out here. KP was able too. to finish off uh, so the Soxidite as well as Peter. They're going to lose their supports, and that means there's no safe for Ace. They will be able to get the Scythe on their 33. He thought he was going to TP out successfully. Now he's dead. And the second life of the Medusa, she has nowhere to go to. All she can hope is she gets some sort of kill, but obviously they have too many stuns to let that happen. God, it takes so long with that extra, that tw uh, thousand mana, 25 talent that they got. Oh, it doesn't oh, feel they're going to try and make the initiation. The jump forward, the Dream Coil on a tomb. They are going to buy back on the Medusa. They want to try and end this game right here, and they've already caught Moon. That he's dead. Then the Sven is dead as well. They both have buyback. Rage of Potato is going to be spotted, but... Okay, never mind. Finally, the initiation. They managed to get the silence onto Peter, but of course, he's got uh, borrowed time, so... He won't actually heal a ton because of the Spirit Vessel on the side. They managed to get the side, the opening. They pop the God Strength. KP is looking for some sort of initiation. He managed to disarm the Medusa. That's something at least, but they're kiting around these here. Pyrrha is still alive. Ninja Boogie, he's kind of left out with a Glimmer. KP will be okay here. They're going to re-engage. wants to chase. He's got BKB. He's not sure if he wants to be able to go for Ace. He wants somebody else. They do manage to spot Soxie. He's going to go for Peter. Wipes him out with one big crit. They, he does have a buyback. 33 slowed down, but he had a cheese, and they committed for what? him now. BKD, he didn't get it off, but now he gets it off. He's already off half HP. Fortunately, the Satanic kills him out the full, and he will be able to blink back to the rest of his allies. See, Ice Blast. They were thinking about going for the reinitiation. Well, they do manage to spot him with his own by double, double side. They're going to be able to get the double storm hammer follow up as well. Peter does have borrowed time, so he's going to be okay. And KP's just tanking damage in the back lines. They do manage to get the imprisonment on the Medusa. Turns around, standing to clips. A lot of his mana is gone, but enough that Ace can still fight this out. Moon is now Moon's completely dead. isolated himself from the rest of his team, diving in like that. Still has yet to get that magic immunity item. Bada jumping forward, does manage to get the coil onto Rage and Potato, who's also telekinesis. Ajit being chased by the Bristleback right now. Throws the Solar Crest on him. They are going to try and finish off Rage and Potato before he can cast any more Dark Parts. He does manage to get the Soulbind. Ice Blast onto one. That's only going to be the event. So both supports have been caught out from Maneski. The rest of the cores are going to lead them to die because the supports have buyback. Yeah, they actually uh, use the Refresher Shard. Sorry. still mid right now, and Ajit, he's got to be careful here as Fada blinks in. It's point blank, they've got to be careful, but they get the lift onto Ajit first. Oh, and Moon actually jumped in, he got hit by the telekinesis. The BKB activated though. Looking at targets, Stone Gaze immediately going Ajit off. And Ajit no just needs on. to be able to go back. He jumps to his allies, but can Nip catch them? That's one of the bigger problems. They don't have a ton of country without the puck. The blink forward from Soxa. He just needs one telekinesis. Any target will do, and he gets the imprisonment. He caught the PA. He does have a refresher onto the puck. He can actually go and go for the coil. He looks for the back line. He's going to find the Grimstroke once again. Just takes him out of the fight after he buys back like that. Spent with God's strength. He's going to be able to get the Scythe device control up onto the puck. Now the Soulbind on the third three, who's quite low. They're slowing Bottom down KP, back. just getting damage on him bit by bit. But the, the PA kind of covers his tracks, jumps to his ally. They're going to have to play a four versus five as Fada. The Grimstroke is so huge for this team fight too. Yeah. The double hex, the dark portrait. And they're on a clock too because Megas I'm not sure how well they fight up against that. They're going to start the dagger spam. Moon, looking for his opportunity. He's just going to go for the side. They're just going to try and blow up as quick as possible. They don't have the easiest time. The imprisonment into Sandy's Eclipse. He's, He's got Aegis, very low on mana. He does have the Aegis. This is going to be every single one of their abilities. They do manage to take him out finally. Another imprisonment going down to be able to try and save some heroes. Rubik doing a lot of work with that Soxa. And Fada is able dead. to save Fada. Fada is dead for now two minutes. Moon's going to jump over. Imprisonment thrown out. Wasn't his though. It was actually Sox's self imprisonment to be able to save himself. And now Moon has given up Megas. is just trying to get away from 33 and Soxa while Ajit commits onto the ace. They know he can't really get away so easily. If Moon could just survive it, he does manage to get a blink away. Not enough damage going out. Peter popping his Bardo time to try and save Ace. Ace who's popped his stone gaze to be able to force Ajit to disengage. But now Ajit, he can look to go back in. They cannot afford for Ace to be able to get away. They need a stun on him. They TP. need a stun now, but he gets a TP. Out. They and just have to go for it. Yeah, they know that. Gonna pop the God Strength KP leading the way, like always. There's gonna be a glyph slowing him down. Ajit does so much damage with this rapier and the Sven's God Strength. They're gonna disarm him with the Heavens Halber, just trying to slow things down. 20 seconds. That's all they need for this puck. And Maneski not doing fast enough damage. There's the imprisonment save from Soxa. Using it on the bristle back. Now they're trying to go on to Ace right now, who Scythe buys up. He's at half mana. They do manage to get the soul bind. They're jumping in with Ajit. They manage to get the double abyssal blade. But again, the save from Soxa with that imprisonment. Meanwhile, bristle back trying to commit, going for Raging Potato with his BKB. The Ice Blast actually nails Peter as well as Ace, but Ace will limp away ever so barely. It is still a they're four versus the four. They're going for the throne as quick as possible. This uh, this tier four is just getting chunked down by Ajit. A telekinesis. Soxa tosses him into Sven. 30 
three. This. That's a lot of damage. 2200, knock him down to half HP. In prison, they have another Heaven's Halberd, but Ajit just keeps on going for it. He has the Satanic Saxa with the imprisonment. Once again, just trying to delay, but now KP tries to jump, but Lincoln gives him enough time to be able to get off the stone case, and Moon is committed. He BKBs, he snaps the coil as well. Ajit, he needs to activate his Satanic, but he dies! He doesn't do any damage. Now Moon's going to be forced away. He's dead as well. And that's it. Mineski, they went all in for the throne, and it was a close call. But at the very end, they couldn't make it happen. Fada coming in with the two-man dream coil. Shout out to Saxa with the imprisonments.